From arguments stemming from a place of passion to those that were just kind of mean spirited. Tony. These are the most jaw dropping arguments. Oh my god. For better or for worse, to have ever taken place on Hell's Kitchen. Sometimes being a super confident smartass can get you eliminated. And this contestant learned that lesson the hard way. But do you think any of it mattered to him? Well, we're here talking about it, so probably not, right? See, I know I've talked about this guy to death, but you read the title, right? Doing this topic justice if I didn't start with the most explosive argument ever seen in the history of the show. And the fact that it followed one of the worst dinner services only made it all the more special in my mind. Well, Chef Ramsay was clearly at his wit's end, and the only thing he was looking forward to was a smooth elimination without drama. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. I mean, clearly, he'd already had his fair share for the day. Yeah, both the teams had managed to tank in their own respective special ways, and Chef Ramsay couldn't even figure out who had performed worse. So they both had the absolute pleasure of nominating two of their ranks for elimination. But, oh boy, was he in for some unexpected mayhem. I'm not no bitch. If that was any indication of Chef Ramsay's frustration, Joseph should have ideally just taken the hint and moved on. But, nope, the dude decided to stir up trouble. I need a threat. You want a fucking jacket? You want to talk some shit? Let's go step outside, motherfucker. I ain't here for that, dog. Yeah, sounds like he got the memo, right? But Chef Ramsay wasn't convinced. Oh no, Joseph, that's not how you state your reasons. And what's with all the attitude, huh? You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. Well, there was no reason for him to get so defensive, but well, we're talking about Joseph here, the same dude who earlier claimed he wasn't an animal. Which is exactly what an animal would say. Anyway, remember what happened during the signature dish challenge? Listen, 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 listen to me. Uh, listen to me. Yeah. Yes. My fucking kitchen. Absolutely. My fucking restaurant. All right. Hey, and right now, big boy. Hey, I'm looking like a fucking idiot. I got it. Totally unrelated, I promise. Well, maybe a little more related than I gave it credit for. Anyway, I had a pretty good idea of where Joseph would land with his over-the-top attitude, but never in my wildest dreams did I expect this. This dude had absolutely no self-control. And his tongue, especially so. Oh, it's been taken off his leash. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I want this. And I'm gonna get this. None of them will get in my fucking way. And the fact that he had the nerve to bristle at Chef Ramsay of all people? Either Joseph wasn't thinking straight, or his only intention at the outset was to get Chef Ramsay riled up. You got a fork? But whichever line of thinking you want to subscribe to, he was pretty successful at it. Although it sounded like Joseph understood the drill, turns out he didn't. At this point, the onlooking contestants start to worry about the consequences. I mean, what if Chef Ramsay decides to walk out and maybe call off the show? Oh my god. You say Like, who knows which way things could go? And so, a few brave souls decided to intervene. Come on, man. I'm talking here. I don't give a fuck about you. Although they tried to knock some sense into Joseph, it looks like that ship had already sailed. And the next thing you know, Joseph tossed his apron and charged towards Chef Ramsay. Well, looks like this ex-marine came to flex his muscles on the wrong show. His aggression might draw attention in combat, but it wasn't about to slide in Chef Ramsay's court. Now, for all those of you who think the show is scripted, I kind of have my doubts after seeing what happened next. I mean, there was absolutely no reason for Joseph's outburst. And if you ask me, Chef Ramsay handled the whole situation with so much grace. You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. But I guess those are all stories for another day. As for now, the cameraman literally left Chef Ramsay behind and followed Joseph out the door instead. And well, the dude didn't disappoint. Not with all eyes on him, of course. You see, Joseph was a sous chef from New York, the key word here being a WAS. He wanted to break free from the mundane work and do something different to get his life back in order, but I guess things didn't exactly pan out the way he expected them to. But you know what? He wasn't entirely wrong. While most folks watching from home thought Joseph had put an end to his career as a chef with that outburst, the dude actually ended up with a pretty cool gig right after. This time as an executive chef. Well, I guess all news is good news at the end of the day. But let's see what followed that, well, intense exit. And going by the way the contestants were nodding in agreement, I guess Joseph wasn't wrong after all. They were indeed men, they'd made their decision, and everyone knew who they were. So, was Joseph berated for speaking the truth? Isn't that what the show expects from its contestants? Either way, you have to see how the contestants reacted to Joseph's exit. He turned out to be this hot topic back in the dorms. Yeah, Tanil forgot for a second that they had narrowly missed getting ousted too. Meanwhile, the blue team couldn't believe what they just witnessed. Well, I wouldn't believe it if there wasn't literal, tangible proof staring me in the face either, so yeah, I totally agree with Jim on that. 
Anyway, moving from one fiery argument to another, here comes another altercation that was blown out way out of proportion. So, Giovanni had gotten off to a bad start. Like, really bad. And from one moment to another, his performance progressively worse. Right from the failed challenge to the messed up punishment, Giovanni's patience was running thin. The dude was so upset about the defeat that it showed with every move that he made. Gio was feeling like he was being driven up the wall, and the dinner service hadn't even begun. Of course, his teammates noticed his laid-back attitude, and nope, they weren't impressed. Sometime later, when there was some confusion over the number of boxes of lobster that were delivered, Gio's sarcasm with keeping account of the supply at the drop-off location really rubbed everyone the wrong way, whether in person or watching the events go down on their TVs. Well, I think he was right, but he just didn't word it correctly. Everyone was starting to get ticked off by his behavior, but things were only going to get worse for him. I'm talking about Chef Ramsay's epic blow-up when Gio refused to back down from what he felt was harsh criticism. But I'm not the space chef. Yeah, say that again. I said I'm not the space yeah, chef. Yeah, you're pissed, are you? I'm not. Look at me, look at me, eyes. Not as pissed as I am. You donkey. No. See, Gio was a pretty good chef. He made some great dishes during the individual cook's challenge, and had even drawn Chef Ramsay's admiration more than a few times. But he couldn't seem to knock off his habit of talking back, and this landed him in some serious trouble about as often as he got that admiration. Maybe even a little more. So what happened is, in episode 10 of season 5, the top 6 finalists were given an opportunity to prove their worth to Chef Ramsay. This time, Chef Ramsay would not only focus on individual skills, but also on team collaboration. And with that little note, he kicked off the service. Now, Gio wanted to be sure he was on the right track. He didn't want to leave any room for mistakes. To ensure the chicken was cooked through, he decided to keep a close eye on it. But Chef Ramsay caught him fiddling with the oven door more than he should. Either way, Gio went back to his station and continued to work on the rest of the orders. 30 minutes into the dinner service, it was now his time to shine. When Gio sent out his first order to the pass, Chef Ramsay didn't waste a second to call him out. Yeah, nobody wants a bloody chicken leg. Meaning literal blood, not the British slang, it looks like Gio couldn't keep track of the cook time without having to open the oven often, and this led to an undercooked chicken. See, Gio was simply not at his best. I'm not sure if he'd already given up at the point, because forget about the dish. He couldn't even repeat the order when Chef Ramsay asked him to. A lamb mid rare. A well, a lamb mid, a well done. Can I drop the door, you guys? How long is that Wellington? I'm yelling out my door. Yeah, the dude Come was in. completely frazzled. And Ben, whose stuffed chicken was chosen to be the special for the service, started to have his own doubts about Gio's performance. In the meantime, with Chef Ramsay rejecting his dish, Gio got busy with whipping up another one, and this time, this is how it turned out. But Chef Ramsay wasn't finished yet. He decided to grill Gio for a bit longer. However, Gio wasn't about to back down either. He decided to give Chef Ramsay a piece of his mind. A heated back and forth ensued, and I think you have a fair idea how it ended. While Chef Ramsay was screaming at the top of his voice, Gio seemed to be least bothered, and this triggered Ramsay even further. Chef Ramsay was so mad that he kept going after Gio, berating him for his poor attitude. Despite that heated exchange, Gio managed to head back to the station and continue his work. And at this time, although it looked like he was pissed at Chef Ramsay, he later revealed in the confessional that he felt otherwise. Meanwhile, he managed to come back with the perfect refire and Chef Ramsay had more to get off his chest. At this point, Chef Ramsay didn't want to mess with Ben's chicken special. He asked Ben to jump in and cook the chicken himself and move Gio onto the Wellingtons. But Ben seemed like he'd lost his footing too. Well, it sure was a long night for Chef Ramsay. Seeing the top six stumble over the basics was the perfect nightcap. No sarcasm here, obviously. But two hours into the service, when Chef Ramsay asked Gio to give a time on his dish, turns out he was lagging once again. While Andrea kept asking Gio for time, the dude seemed to be working in his own parallel universe. And it wasn't just Andrea. Sometime later, when Robert was ready with the scallops, Gio was taking forever, and this meant that Rovert had to work with scallops over and over again. And of course, Chef Ramsay wasn't having it. He called all three of them to the front and gave them a good earful. All three chefs headed back to the station to get started on their dishes, fresh. But just then, Gio did something crazy. Yeah, that was careless, real careless. I mean, poor Robert ended up with some serious burns thanks to Gio's absent-mindedness. But what Robert revealed next had Chef Ramsay fuming with anger. Well, of course, Gio felt horrible for hurting Robert, but guess who was hurt more? Chef Ramsay. He couldn't believe that this was the top six he chose. But that's not the end of the story. 
Sometime later, after the dinner service, Chef Ramsay chewed Giovanni out for being mentally gone from the competition. Oh, you, 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 you gone. And quite expectedly, this turned out to be Giovanni's last dinner service on Hell's Kitchen. Shocker of the century, folks. To set the record straight, Giovanni was eliminated both for his poor performance and more importantly for arguing with Chef Ramsay. But have you noticed how there is always one contestant who takes the lead for being the dumbest? Well, in Season 7, Siobhan wore this badge with pride. Well, in this challenge, Siobhan's performance was all over the place. Well, of course, she wasn't the one kicking butt here, but got her ass kicked by none other than Chef Ramsay himself. So, it all started when Chef Ramsay laid his eyes on the subpar quality of Siobhan's scallops. But Chef Ramsay wasn't about to let it slide. He decided to show her who was the boss. However, what did Siobhan do? Instead of throwing those burnt scallops into the trash, she decided to plate them. And, well, I don't think I have to elaborate about Chef Ramsay's reaction. Chef Ramsay first asked her what she was up to. But when Siobhan tried to defend herself, things went south. But Chef Ramsay wasn't convinced. He kept asking her what she did with the others, and Siobhan, quite stupidly, kept pointing to the plate of scallops, saying they were right over there. And seeing her reaction, Chef Ramsay lost it. But if you're wondering what he did next, turns out he very kindly showed her out of the kitchen. And nope, he wasn't done as yet. Those burst scallops? They turned out to be the end of Siobhan on the show. And although she took full responsibility for her mistakes in the kitchen, she found herself eliminated. And guess what? Chef Ramsay's take on her elimination was even more brutal than the elimination itself. Well, that's a title she earned for herself. But Chef Ramsay is just. It doesn't always seem that way, but he is. When it comes to following the code of conduct, he doesn't care if you're a chef or a customer. And this customer right here was unfortunate to face Chef Ramsay's aggression firsthand. So, it started with an irate male customer walking up to the kitchen, plate in hand. What followed next was hilarious. Although the customer seemed to be pissed, Chef Ramsay didn't have the time or patience to deal with it. I really don't know where the poison bit came from. I mean, it's one thing to not like the food, but to accuse a chef, and that too, Gordon Ramsay himself? Not cool. At this point, Chef Ramsay felt insulted, and he decided to put the customer in his place. I mean, wow, just wow. How does he even come up with such things? I mean, quail. Well, that came out of nowhere. Anyway, the customer had to walk back to his table with his head hanging, wearing a label he never asked for. But hey, at least he learned an important lesson. If you are a customer, here's the biggest rule of Hell's Kitchen. I really don't know where the poison bit came from. I mean, it's one thing to not like the food, but to accuse a chef, and to not expect food in time, and for the food to be at its best quality. All right, with that, let's move on to another showdown and this one can rival Giovanni's wild encounter with Chef Ramsay. So, I'm talking about Nilka, and believe me, this one is a real eye-popper. You see, Nilka wanted to show Chef Ramsay she was the best. But despite all her efforts, things feel flat on its face. Although Nilka put her best foot forward, turns out it just wasn't enough. Nilka had to prove her point to Chef Ramsay. She assured him that she was wide awake and very much present mentally, but Chef Ramsay found it hard to believe her. At this point, her teammates pitched in to cool things off and get Nilka back on track. However, when the lobster hit the pass, Nilka's confidence hit the floor. Nilka was clearly in the midst of a massive meltdown. But just then, Chef Ramsay discovered the raw lobster and all hell broke loose. Now, Chef Ramsay decided to school her about her lack of focus, but Nilka wasn't having it. However, despite all that, Nilka was given another chance to prove herself and she headed back to her station. But soon, things started to go wrong again. Nilka herself wasn't too sure about the doneness of the dish. And when she touched it, this is how it turned out to be. Look at me! Look at me! Out! Get out! Benjamin, we shall... And that One was the up. last drop of Nilka. Chef Ramsay. Get he decided out. to give her the boot and kick her out of the kitchen, but Nilka wasn't ready to take it lying down. Yeah, remember how Chef Ramsay reacted when Giovanni talked back to his face? In Nilka's case, it was worse. However, Nilka wasn't ready to bow out <laughs> as yet. Chef, she came back into the there. danger zone and started pestering Chef Ramsay to take her back. Well, I guess she forgot that she was in Hell's Kitchen, and out here, you need talent, grit, and stamina to survive. And clearly, Nilka didn't have any. To make things worse, she was throwing tantrums like a kid. Well, no matter how hard she wanted to stay, Nilka's time was up, and it was high time she realized it. What followed next is possibly one of the biggest meltdowns on Hell's Kitchen. Meanwhile, Chef Ramsay was convinced that she didn't have any quality he was looking for in his head chef. And Chef Ramsay's last comment put the last nail in the coffin. 100% right. Couldn't have said it better. Okay, with that, let's talk about another iconic customer interaction from episode 1 of season 2. 
But instead of sharing his concerns with JP, he decided to walk up to the pass and bring it to Chef Ramsay's notice. However, what did Can Chef Ramsay do? Right. Can you get out of the way? One spaghetti, one risotto? Yes? Oh, are you gonna always gonna be that rude? Now, this customer was pretty adamant. He not only walked up to the pass, but also interrupted Chef Ramsay right in the middle of a heated service. And I don't have to tell you how much Chef Ramsay hates that. Now that was brutal, but there was more to come. Yeah, he actually asked the security to lead the customer out and away from his kitchen. But if you thought that was wild, then wait till you see what went down between Jeff and Chef Ramsay. So Jeff Lapoff, who was assigned to the appetizer station, brought two lobster spaghetti dishes where one had no lobster and the other had too many. Now this is when Michael stepped up to rescue Jeff from his misery. But Jeff decided to throw a fit. And the next thing you know, Jeff's poor attitude started rubbing sous chefs Marianne and Chris the wrong way. Things got so bad that Chef Ramsay himself had to step in and calm the situation down. But soon enough, trouble started to brew all over again. Sometime later when Chef Ramsay asked Jeff to send up the lamb dish, things started to go downhill. I mean, the customers had been waiting for almost two hours, and still, the main course was nowhere in sight. Chef Ramsay was obviously mad. He accused Jeff of taking things lightly, but not exactly in those words. However, Jeff, instead of following Chef Ramsay's order, decided to bite back. Time and again, Jeff made it a point to remind Chef Ramsay that it was his first time on the line. But Chef Ramsay pulled him to the side and had a one-on-one -on -one with him. However, Jeff started to show signs of giving up. He walked back to the station and claimed that he was done. And Chef Ramsay wasn't having it. When Jeff, in a fit of rage, yelled back at Chef Ramsay saying that he wasn't a quitter, Chef Ramsay reminded him that he wasn't a great cook either. But Jeff was clearly asking for trouble. Sous Chef Marianne heard him and asked Jeff to repeat what he said. Jeff eventually took his jacket off and walked out of Hell's Kitchen for good. Now, you must be curious to know what Chef Ramsay had to say about this. After Jeff left, Chef Ramsay said, Jeff, well, I had to laugh at the end when he called me an asshole. I've been called far worse.